Mix of sun and clouds outside at the moment. Sunshine finally started to break through after a bit more cloudiness early this morning, and that's when we saw most of our rainfall. 93 degrees right now, which is our high for the day. Feels like 105. You get the dew points in the 70s, temperatures into the 90s. The triple digit heat indices are not too far behind. Winds out of the southeast right now at around 13. 80s, where we still have a bit more lingering cloud cover, especially off to our west and north, and generally upper 80s and low 90s elsewhere. Today's high, as I mentioned, was 90. 93 degrees and so far rainfall today was a little more than a half inch and that was all in a fairly short period of time from some of the thunderstorms that we saw around this morning. Most of our rainfall wrapping up still a few showers up on the North Shore, a little bit heavier near Baton Rouge south of the city and as we continue through the evening rainfall will be dissipating. Taking a look at the tropics again, we've been a little bit focused more on this system. We do have another tropical depression that has been uh, upgraded, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Right now, this wave that is coming off of Cuba is not at the moment looking any better organized. This is where the invest center is being placed. The fact that the hurricane center has declared this as invest 91 means that we now have more computer model resources to help better forecast it. And this is the center of where they are placing it at the moment. Not really a true center as there is no well defined circulation. Yeah, there is a bit of thunderstorm activity trying to develop near that, but in terms of organization, not quite quite there yet, and none of the models were indicating that this would be a rapidly organizing system. In fact, here's Cuba, so the center of circulation, or what center there is, is right about in through here, and at the moment, we still have this big upper trough, which is creating wind shear, which is, again is keeping this as a fairly weak system. That tropical wave, if we were to see any kind of real development, wouldn't be until probably Thursday going into Friday, as this system will be south of our coast. Most of the models are in good agreement that this is going to move toward the Texas coast. The only impacts here would be rain and both the Euro and the GFS are in fairly decent agreement whether or not this is a true depression or even a storm. It may just kind of be a broad circulation with an open wave. In other words, a lot of tropical rainfall headed our way. Steering currents are pretty uh, uh, similar to both of the models as well. High pressure at the uh, sir, or, excuse me, uh, aloft will be building in northward, which is going to keep the storm moving more toward Texas. The stronger this upper high is, the farther this is going to go more south of us and westward, never really making it toward southeast Louisiana, and that risk just doesn't look to be there. Primary threat would be heavy rainfall. We do have for Thursday a marginal low end risk of some flooding type rains, although I think a lot of the heavier rain is going to be focused more toward the coast, whereas inland we may not see nearly as much in terms of rain accumulation. Quick check though, we do have tropical depression number seven. This will likely become Gonzalo either tonight or tomorrow as it's a small storm, so these can usually rapidly intensify. But looking at the forecasted track, it is not anticipated to get into the Caribbean until this weekend, so we have plenty of time to watch that one. Tomorrow, rain chance is going to remain on the lower side, wetter and thus not as hot as we head into Thursday and Friday, breezy as well. We'll still see some showers around on Saturday, but a bit drier as we get into Sunday and early next week. The latest